Shalom, all praises, honor, and glorification unto our mighty, marvelous, and wonderful power. Call Halaimla, Allah Hayanawa, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, whom rule well. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai scattered across the earth. This is your brother, Hila, coming to you with another lesson. And the title of this lesson will be, Your Health Matters. Take care of your body as the Lord's temple. And, uh, you know, this pretty much will be a... You know, a video of a exhortation in terms of health and wellness and how we ought to nourish and cherish our bodies as the Lord's temple, you know. So I want to start off at the book of Ecclesiasticus, the 30th chapter. And I'll start at verse 14. And it reads, Better is the poor being sound and strong of constitution than a rich man that is afflicted in his body. Right, and let's look up that word. Right, you see it says, A person's physical state with regard to vitality, health, and strength. Right, and that word vitality, it says, the state of being strong and active, energy, liveliness. Right, so once again, Ecclesiasticus chapter 30 and verse 14, better is the poor being sound, meaning whole, and strong of constitution than a rich man that is afflicted in his body. Right, verse 15, health and good estate of body are above all gold and a strong body above infinite wealth. You know, so that shows you how significant or I'll say that statement amplifies the significance of your body and of your health. You know, look at it, man. Health and good estate of body are above all gold and a strong body above infinite wealth. Right. So once again, that amplifies the significance of. Or Salakia, that amplifies how significant your health is. So let's see, uh, verse 16. There is no riches above a sound body and no joy above the joy of the heart, which the heart is talking about the mind. Salakia, I think it goes into more. Let me see. So lucky, you know. So let me get uh let me get this. Let me get first Timothy four and eight. Right, and it reads For bodily exercise profit of little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come. Right, but body bodily exercise is still significant. You know, and that's a major part of nourishing your body and cherishing your body. Right? So let me get uh, Ephesians, the fifth chapter now. Starting at verse 28. And it reads, So all men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. Verse 29, and here's the point. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it, even as the Lord the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. Right, so going into that word nourish. Uh, 
It says, provide with the food or other substances necessary for growth, health, and good condition. See? Right? So continuing on, let me get 1 Corinthians, the 6th chapter. Starting at verse 19. And it reads, what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which ye have of the Most High, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with the price. Therefore glorify the Most High in your body and in your spirit, which are the Most High's. Right, so uh, continuing on, let me get the third chapter. Starting at verse 16. And it reads, Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High, and that the Spirit of the Most High dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of the Most High, him shall the Most High destroy. For the temple of the Most High is holy, which temple ye are. See, so we ought to operate accordingly. So let me see something really quick. All right, I'm trying to hit, you know, I don't want it to be too short. So let me see. Salakik, because I know there's more scriptures, you know. Lucky. So lucky you hold tight. I mean, you know, the point is pretty much made. Let's see. Yeah, the point is pretty much made. So, you know, with that, Lord willing, you were edified once again and forever. All praises, honor, and glorification unto our mighty, marvelous, and wonderful power. Call Halim La Alahayanawa Yehawa Bahashim Yehawashai Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, whom rule well once again. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yahweh Bashimi Awashai scattered across the earth. See you in the next lesson, Lord Willing. Why Yahweh Bashimi Awashai Baba Kasha Baba Bo. Why Shalawam Dita soon and stay sharp. And you sent your Akimwa Akwat keep pushing. Shalawam.